Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 7, Chapter 8, The Lord Slays the King of the Demons, Text Number 51. Shri Tarno Tu Hare Tavangri Pankajam Bhava Pavarga Ashita Yat Esha Saruk Rich Chasya Tavayasura Sampitaha Shri Jarnu Chu Hare Tavangri Pankajam Bhava Pavarga Ashita Yat Esha Saru Rich Chayas Vayasura Samapitaha Shri Jarnu Chu Hare Tavangri Pankajam Bhava Pavarga Ashita Yadesha Sada Richayas Tvayasura Samabhita Dham Shri Jarnu Chu Hare Tavangri Panga Jam Pava Pavarga Ashita Yadesha Sada Rich Tayas Tvayasura Samapita Shri Charna Uchu The inhabitants of the Charna planet said Hare, O Lord, Tava, your Angri Pankajam, Lotus Feet, Baba Apavargam, the only shelter for becoming free from the contamination of material existence. Ashita, sheltered at Yet, because, Esha, this, Sadu Rit Shaya, stake in the hearts of all honest persons. Taba, by your Lordship. Asura, the demon Haranikashipu. Samapita, Finished. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swain the Prabhupada. The inhabitants of the Charana planet said, O Lord, because you have destroyed the demon Haranikashipu, who is always a stake in the hearts of all honest men, we are now relieved, and we eternally take shelter of your lotus feet, which award the conditioned soul liberation from materialistic contamination. Purport, Supreme Personality of Godhead in his transcendental form of Narahari, Narasimha Dev, is always ready to kill the demons, but always create disturbances in the minds of honest devotees. To spread the Krishna consciousness movement, devotees have to face many dangers and impediments all over the world. But a faithful preacher who preaches with great devotion to the Lord must know that Lord Narasimha Dev is always his protector. I'm going to read a few more verses here, a couple of more verses, because they all have the same idea. The inhabitants of Yaksha, Yaksha Loka prayed, O killer of the 24 elements, we are considered the best servants of your lordship. 
because of rendering services pleasing to you. Yet we engage as, a pal- as palanquin carriers the order of Haran- Haranyakashipu by the order of Haranyakashipu, the son of Diti. O Lord, in the form of Nishinghadev, you know how this demon gave trouble to everyone, but now you have killed him and his body is mixing with the five material elements. Purport. The Supreme Lord is the controller of the ten senses, the five material elements, the five sense objects, the mind, the intelligence, the false ego, and the soul. Therefore, his address is Pancha Vimsha, the 25th element. The inhabitants of the Yaksha planet are supposed to be the best of all servants, but Haranyakashipu engaged them as palanquin carriers. The entire universe was in trouble because of Haranyakashipu, but now that Haranyakashipu's body was mixing with the five material elements, earth, water, fire, air, and sky, everyone felt relief. Upon Haranyakashipu's death, the Yakshas were re- reinstated in their original service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thus they felt obliged to the Lord and offered their prayers. Text 53. The inhabitants of Kim Purusha Loka said, We are insignificant living entities, and you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Supreme Controller. Therefore, how can we offer suitable prayers unto you? When this demon was condemned by devotees because they were disgusted with him, he was then killed by you. Purport. The cause of the Supreme Lord's appearance upon this earth is stated in the Bhagavad Gita 4.78. Yada yada hi dharma sya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutanam adharma sya tadatmanam shijam yaham pratranaya sarunam vina shayatri diskritam dharma samstapanartaya sambhavam yuge yuge Whenever and wherever there is a decrease in religious principles and a predominant rise in irreligion, at that time I descend myself to deliver the pious and annihilate the miscreants, as well as to reestablish the principles of religion, I advent myself millennium after millennium. The Lord appears in order to execute two kinds of activities, to kill the demons and protect the devotees. When the devotees are too disturbed by the demons, the Lord certainly appears in different incarnations to give the devotee per- devotee's protection. The devotees following the footsteps of Prahlad Maharaj should not be disturbed by the divine acti- activities of the nine devotees. Rather, they should stick to their principles as the sincere, sincere servants of the Lord and rest assured that the divine acti- activities dire- di- directed against them will not be able to stop their devotional service. Namang Vishnu Vraya Krishna Prasthaya Buddha Shri Mate Bhaktivedanta Swami Tiramane Namaste Saraswatunde Vangoravani Pacharane Nirvi Shesha Shindavadi Paskadyade Sitarane. There are six stages of Sharanagati or surrender to Krishna. Anukulyasya Sankalpe Pratikulyasya Varjana Rakshis Patiti Vishvaso Koprive Varanam Tata Atma 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 Shatyeta Sankalpye Shadvida Sharanagati Atma Atma Samkhya Atma Shape Atma Nik Nik Shepa Sankalpe Karpanye Atma Nik Nik Shepa Karpanye So it begins with Anukulyasya Sankalpe accepting everything favorable. That's like taking Pushadam as favorable, which is usually the one thing everyone accepts. You have to be quite demoniac, not like Prashadam. Or Chani Hare Krishna, etc. And then Pratikulyasya, the things we're not supposed to do, Pratikul, uh, to give them up, like the illicit sex, gambling, meat eating, intoxication. These are Pratikul. 
they're unfavorable. Or on the other hand, Krishna says, Atyahara Priyasas Cha Prajalpa Niyamagraha Jana Sankas Tiloyam Cha Shadvira Bhaktir Pranashati Vinashati 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 means it destroys. And what is the first thing? Ati Atyahara Ati too much. Ahara means to eat. So eating too much. Or Priyasas. Atihari means collecting too much or eating too much. Uh, why do people collect too much? Because they want to eat more. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no reason to collect too much. Make sure we have our stockpile. Previously, value was placed in food, cows and land for food. Nowadays, people don't care about food, and food doesn't care about them either. I was hearing it when lecture on health yesterday. And it was saying that in 1955, it was a peach. And now to get the same value, that one peach in 1955, they named it the same nutrition, the same vitamins and minerals, you'd have to eat 55 pe- peaches to get the same value. Because they've mass, previously they didn't have this mass production of peaches or anything. But then they mass produced it, so they had to throw in nitrogen and all kinds of things. They just make things artificially grow. And then they covered it with insecticides, herbicides, killing everything. <laughs> Including all the, even the favorable things in the soil. They make the soil fertile. And then they throw in more chemicals to fertilize it. (laughs) So who can eat 55 peaches? (laughs) Can hardly find a peach anyhow. So this atiyahara, eating too much, people have to eat more because they're getting less from what, whatever they're eating. They even have called negative food. You know about that? They're like if you go to the movies, which I don't advise anyone to do. <laughs> but if you do, you buy popcorn and they sprinkled it, sprinkle it with this substance that doesn't give you any calories. Because popcorn doesn't probably give you a whole lot of calories anyhow. But then when you eat it, you actually feel hungry. So that way you you spend, I don't know what a movie, what does a movie cost nowadays? $15, 15 euros? Say it costs 10 euros, I don't know. And then you spend 25 euros on the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> The popcorn cost them, you know, 50 euro cents, and they just made 25 euros on it. <laughs> so, Atiyahara, Priyasas, Japa, Japa, Niyamagara. So, these are things that are, which are unfavorable, collecting too much, eating too much, over-endeavoring. And then, if you do that, collect too much or eat too much, you're over-endeavoring, then you have to spend a lot of time with Prajapa. Where is money? Where is money? And atiyahara. And then you won't have time to find out what you're supposed to be doing. You'll do the wrong thing. And even if you do the right thing, you won't, you won't know why you're doing it. Atiyahara priyasas cha prajapa niyamagraha jana sangas. An association with worldly-minded people. So to get what you want, you're going to associate with so many worldly-minded people. And loyum, if you do get some satisfaction from that association, then you want you become greedy for it. You eat one ice cream, it tastes good, you want another one, and another one, until you get sick. And you want some medicine to, to cover all the symptoms, you, you can still get another one. 
And sometimes people don't even notice they're sick anymore because they're too much absorbed in being a mental platform or intoxication or something, or they're just accustomed to being in pain. So even though there's no place left for the next ice cream cone, still they'll find some place to fit it in. Tat eloyam venachati. So these things destroy pure devotional service. But then there is gopdrive uh, varanam tata. So gopdrive, believing that Krishna will protect one. Now, protecting this body is not possible. But what does it mean, protection? Here it explains protection means ultimately in any circumstance to be Krishna conscious. If in any circumstance we can become Krishna conscious, then our life is successful. Because even at the hour of death, we can enter into the kingdom of God, then, which is the perfection of life. Now that perfection we have to be convinced of. If we think at the end of this life, I'm going to have, you know, buried along with me with 15 trophies that I won, and therefore I can, you know, I can hug them and carry with them into the next life. <laughs> if we think that's our success, that I got some prize, or I got some fame, or I got some comfort, or whatever we think we may believe will make our lives p- complete. But actually, none of these things will have any value at the time of death. It's said in the Shemad Bhagavatam, in, this, in the second canto, if a king has a very heavy crown on his head, and if he doesn't bow the crown before the personality of Godhead, then the crown simply serves as a heavy weight to sink him down into material existence. Therefore, Krishna arranges for even the demigods to be put into difficulty. It's not that Lord Nishingadev or Krishna was asleep and Hiranyakashipu snuck in and harassed the demigods. Unless the demigods get harassed, then there's no reason why for them to take shelter of Krishna. And if they don't take shelter of Krishna, their lives are meaningless. Anyone who's not impelled either by ecstasy, by spontaneous devotional service, or by material circumstances to take shelter of Krishna, then one's life is incomplete and possibly dangerous in the sense of becoming degraded into a lower species of life. Therefore, Krishna arranges for all his devotees in the material world to be put into difficulty, either as to show an example like Prahlad Maharaj or the Pandavas, or an example that even for ordinary devotees, if they take shelter like a Jendra or Dhruva Maharaj or the sages of Namasharanya, or the four, four Kumaras, if they take shelter of Krishna, then their lives will become perfect. Even in the circumstances for Gajendra, when some crocodile was biting on his foot for thousands of years, and then finally he realized his only hope was to take shelter of Krishna, he remembered his past life as Indra Dumya, how he was taking shelter of Krishna, and he lifted up one lotus flower and offered a prayer to the Supreme Lord. And Krishna came and saved him. Therefore, we should not be discouraged if we're put into difficulty either by the material existence or by the demons themselves to harass us, the asuras. But these are impetuses to take further shelter of Krishna. Without these impetuses, we get lazy anyhow. I mean, we're already lazy. We become more lazier than we already are in terms of spiritual life. Uh, People are very active nowadays. Oh, they used to be. But they were active to get material enjoyment, material resources for material enjoyment. And if they can't get those resources for material enjoyment, then they become very, very lazy. They're at home watching television, watching other people work. <laughs> And after a while, it becomes the hard press to get up and turn the channel. (laughs) 
seems too difficult. Television is too far away. <laughs> they haven't walked that far in, in ages. <laughs> Therefore, vipadak shanti takshasva tatra tatra jagat guru babato darshanam yasyat apana babadarshanam. That we wish, Queen Kunti said, to see these calamities again and again so we can see you again and again, and therefore there'll be no more seeing repeated birth and death. So Queen Kunti had to pray for calamities, but we're much more fortunate. We don't have to pray. <laughs> it's, it's part of the, the terrain. As soon as you, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you come to Kali Yuga, immediately there are so many calamities. There's no need for praying anymore. And if we can see Krishna, if we take shelter in the midst of these calamities, then our lives will become more and more advanced in Krishna consciousness. The greatest danger is when we become so-called materially opulent with Janma Aishvarya, Shruta, Sri Vira, Edamana, Madakpaman, Naivahat, Vedatim, Vai, Tvam, Akin, Chinagotra. We take shelter of good birth, bodily beauty, material influence, material wealth, and we actually think that these things will actually, advancement in these things will actually improve our existence. They may improve our material existence, but ultimately they have nothing to do with our spiritual existence. And the more we improve our material existence, then the more we're probably going to become bewildered by it. We're already intoxicated by material identification, but when one becomes tr- try to improve one's material existence, then one becomes crazy, mad, mada. And according to Queen Kunti, a, a crazy person can't chant Hare Krishna with feeling. Therefore, the more we feel secure in material existence due to our material assets, the more we're, we'll be in difficulty to chant Hare Krishna with some feeling. Therefore, the Brahmins, they voluntarily put themselves into some material uh, poverty or lacking so that they could take shelter of Krishna. And that they understood was their advancement rather than material advancement. Therefore, Prabhupada, as Krishna says, Ma Suchaha, don't worry. If we take shelter of Krishna, then Krishna will protect our Krishna consciousness. It's not possible to perpetually protect our bodies, but it is protect protect our consciousness by absorbing ourselves in Krishna's service. So if we make an endeavor to chant Hare Krishna or engage in Krishna's service, then Krishna will be there for us. Otherwise, he's not. Devotional service may include so many other things within it, but it has to be devotional service to Krishna, according to the authority. And then we'll be Krishna conscious. And then whether we gain or we lose in the material world will eventually seem to us inconsequential. The fact that we're acting as Krishna's instrument is what's important. So I'll stop there. Thank you. Any questions? Um, so, so it looks like the demons... They say here that they will not be able to to stop our devotional service, but to some extent they they succeeded because anyway the, the you see many many temples are closed we cannot go to Harinam to some extent they succeed to to stop our activities so I they, guess Shrimad Bhagavatam must be wrong <laughs> 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 they didn't know we have special demons <laughs> no our devotional service can be done in any circumstance. Why do we think of only going on Hari Nam is devotional service? Yes. Anything. So these whatever our service is, is arranged by Krishna. Hmm. So Krishna is giving us some service to do. This is the service we do. Yes. Ultimately to love Krishna is our main service. We can do that in any circumstance. Hmm. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, thank you very much. Grandaraj, my Bhagavatam, Kijai, Chilaprabhupan, Kijai, Gorpramananda, Hiro.